In this question, what we have is an RC circuit. We know that because we have a resistor and a capacitor. And we know that when we're charging an RC circuit, specifically charging the capacitor within that RC circuit, then we know that the potential across that capacitor is going to increase according to this expression right here. We can see that it will increase as a function of time. Now, the question indicates that as the potential across the capacitor increases and reaches a value of 72 volts, then it's going to discharge, it's going to send all of its charge through this lamp, which will then briefly flash. So the question also tells us that we need it to flash two times per second. That's a clue as to what we want the value for T to equal, but let's talk about that. So it's a simple little proportion. We know that two flashes are going to equal one second. But what we really want is the time required for there to be just one flash. And this proportional setup might be a little overkill for some, but we could set it up like so. We would cross multiply, we would get 2t equals 1, and then t would equal 1 half. This is going to be the correct time because every half of a second, the potential across the capacitor is going to reach 72 volts then again, it will send its charge through the circuit and cause the lamp to flash. So we want that to happen within half of a second. So again, reaching 72 volts in half of a second is the goal here. Now, the question wants the resistance for this to be able to happen. We can see in the equation that the resistance is kind of locked into the exponent of that exponential function. So our job becomes to unlock it, to solve for it. So we're going to have the potential across the capacitor. We can say VC, the question actually says VL right here. That's the same thing in this particular context. So the potential across that capacitor V sub L is equal to the EMF of the battery times one minus this exponential term. And again, we're gonna to try to solve this for the resistance. And then to do that, we can actually begin by dividing both sides of the equation by the EMF of the battery. That will cancel it out on the right-hand side. And now we have the potential across the capacitor divided by the EMF is equal to one minus that exponential term. We can subtract one from both sides. So then we would have this fraction minus one equals negative E to this negative T over RC. We could then divide each term by negative one. So when you divide each term by negative one, this will become negative, this will become positive, and this will also become positive. So we'll just scratch that positive sign right there. We might be better off flipping the left side at this point. We can call it one minus VL over EMF. It wouldn't have to do that, but it looks a little prettier. So now we have this, and we're gonna next try to do something to cancel out the E. And the best way to do that to introduce the inverse function, the natural log. So you take the natural log on both sides, make sure you put this in parentheses, that will cancel out the exponential term, leaving you with this sort of negative T over RC on the right-hand side. And then the left-hand side, I'm just gonna do a little copy and pasting here, you're gonna have this term here. We are getting there, we're almost at the point of solving for R. The next thing we might wanna do to solve for R is to multiply both sides of this equation by R. So we do that on the right side and on the left side. Now these R's here will cancel, leaving us with negative T over C. And then on the left side, we have this monstrosity here. And then finally, if we divide the monstrosity by the natural log of one minus VL over epsilon, and do that on both sides, then on the left-hand side, that will all cancel out, leaving us with the resistance. So it looks like the resistance is going to equal this crazy expression here. And now what we can do is plug in. You can actually algebraically simplify this. It'll help typing it into the calculator a little easier. You can multiply the numerator by C and the denominator by C. That will cancel the C's up here. So you're just left with negative T upstairs. Now we're ready to perhaps plug in all the values. We recall that the T was the half of a second that we derived earlier. And then you're gonna divide this by 
the capacitance, the V sub L value, and the EMF. Those were all given in the question. Be careful, the capacitance is given in microfarads. It's 0.15 microfarads. So you're gonna to wanna to convert that into farads. It'll be 0.15 times 10 to the minus sixth farads. And then the natural log of one minus V sub L, I think it was 72 volts, but my memory is not very good. It is 72 volts. And then the EMF of the battery is 95 volts. So 72 over 95 volts. Okay, let's punch this into our calculator. And when you do this, you get a rather large number. Here's what I got. I got 2350095, roughly. And that kind of is a large number, so we might want to express that in scientific notation. So we can move this decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to make 2.35. But then we'd have to move it 6 places back to get it to its original position. So that's times 10 to the power of positive 6. This will be in ohms, the standard unit of resistance. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. But of course, please don't feel obligated. Thank you for taking the time to watch regardless.